There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze The dreams are not the same for me Standing by the shore While you're on the open sea Cannot take this anymore There are a lot of voices Drowning in the sea too many voices talking back at me There are a lot of choices waiting to be made Too many choices making me afraid Stop.
Okay, firstly, I was going to go for gray, but then when I went to the shop, I just completely changed my mind and I went for the tones exactly for the ones I have in my caravan because with the gray you can go horribly wrong and uh, make the room feel cold if you are not careful enough and I'm not really careful when it comes to you know designing rooms I always go very bold and you know and then I regret and then I need to redo it so this is tested example amazing what a lick of paint can do and finally, I could start working on designing my bed. We'll do the bed frame in a minute. First, I need to water the tomatoes. All these jobs, eh? So this is actually what I planned to do, all what I planned to do for the farmhouse. But yeah, anyways, we had a great time, didn't we? We made nice videos. It was cool, it was interesting. Uh, okay, let's do this here. So, so I'm thinking, see, I don't have a plan no, I have a plan in my head, but uh, not like a proper plan. So I'm just doing together with you right now. So the long wooden thing would go on the bottom and then one on the top. Jesus, that's what always happens when you do this. Okay, now I've got pen, new pen. And I'll tell you what happened. So I didn't press the button and um, I was telling you, explaining everything and drawing this and uh, I didn't press the camera button. And so, yeah, I just want to explain again. So basically, this is the side, yeah? Well, the quick one, quick sketch side. So one wooden thing and the other wooden thing. And then the legs, the legs would just go here in the middle for support and, and here as well. And then the legs would, um, I would attach to these wooden thingies with the brackets. Is that how you call that in English? The, the triangle thing, the angle thing, uh, the metal one, which you screw onto the wood and then you screw onto the other wood. So it holds those woods together, right? And then here on the side, this is the side of the bed, yeah? Well, okay, so that would be the same for the, this side, that side, and this side, bloody plus. And then, yeah, so from both, from all sides like that. And then here on the side, I would screw on wooden planks. So it's nice and closed up, yeah? Uh, also here, also here. And here I would leave like a maybe gap so I can make a storage space uh, under the bed, you know? And then here I would do the headboard headboard again blah 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 with the wooden planks and um, then in the middle would be where the mattress goes and why it's not all the way up to this edge because I like that kind of style of bed so you've got kind of like a little shelf here for your what you put your phone a cup of tea your biscuits and get all cozy in those long wintery nights you know and so yeah the mattress would go in the middle uh, so the bedroom needs to be uh, bigger than the mattress so I already put the material there what I think I need for the bed frame That looks about right. And so, do you know what I'm thinking? I probably, it's a crazy idea, but look at this. Like I've got millions of these. What do you reckon? I know it's crazy, but it's stable. I'll show you. I just love this space. It's amazing. 
Yeah, so I now understand why the previous owner, the late owner, left these wine trees, you know, because they look so gorgeous. It really does look nice. And the roots growing here. Gosh, I don't know what I do. I'm facing dilemma. I kind of think that I want to leave this tree also here. Anyways, okay, so it's a hot day and it's just the beginning. They say it's going to be up to 26 degrees today. There is Fahrenheit as well, guys. You can see the Fahrenheit on the uh, left, on the right. And we always keep this one at bay. The mosquito spray, Jesus. There's so many of them. So I spray myself as I go because otherwise you can't, you just can't cope. So many mosquitoes. Okay, that's how far it is now, the bed frame. I'll show you in a minute. Let me just tell you that I want to use the tires. Unfortunately, it was nice idea to upcycle and you saw me jumping on a frame and it has a little, little bounce, right? But otherwise they are stable. But I really need very stable legs because I'm gonna uh, cover the sides with those wooden planks, you know. And uh, there I need to be very precise, you know. Uh, so yeah, this is how far it is. It took me ages, but it's uh, the frame is done. Um, used the uh, new material what I had, but also I used few of the. You know, the ones he had here in a barn, I found them just for the extra support for the mattress. Um, and it's also a nice upcycling, isn't it? Using what I have. And uh, yeah, so everything is angled. The legs are angled. Everything is angled. So it's gonna be nice and stable. See? And then the next stage, what I need to do I need to screw on this thing like this, see, onto this leg, so that I have an even surface where to screw on the plank, the side planks, which would, uh, which have ridges, so they just slide in. And also, I wanted to use them for the headboard, so I screwed on the side legs. Then I had second thoughts, which is all right if you didn't have doors there and if you didn't have window there and if you didn't have this door here but look what happens eh because there is this window and because there is here's is this door from the kitchen which i want to leave and that would be just awkward and stupid so i would need to go around like this you know to access the window or anything.